Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Security Updates for February 8th, 2020. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense Podcast. Today is February 8th, 2020. And this week, Google is in the news for uh, the data leakage that was involved with their Google Takeout service. Google Takeout is a service that allows users to download all of their data that's on the Google through Gmail, through Google Apps, and iDrives and also the Google Photos. Well from November 21st to the 25th in 2019 if you did do a Google takeout there is a possibility that people would have your videos. Now this happened because of a bug that happened on Google's end so when two people would have a takeout download at the same time one person would get not only their data but also someone else's data. This is a huge problem because many people used the services to back up sensitive documents or photos that they may not want other people to know about, especially if it was passports or social security, birth certificates, private images that they don't want other people to know about. According to Google, only 0.01% of photos were affected, but that could be a low ball because what happened was this exploit happened in November and we're now knowing about it in February. That's three months that Google knew about this problem and didn't tell anyone about it. So what can be done? Well, unfortunately, any data that you had up there, someone else could have it right now, and there's not much you can do about that. But moving forward, there are a couple of things that you can do. First, if you are not not comfortable with this, this happening, which may happen again, I suggest that you do not use Google Photos and instead use a different service. For iOS, that means just deleting the Google Photos app and not X or not backing up using that. For Android, it's a little bit more complicated because Google Photos is baked into the operating system. You would have to go into the Photos app and tell it specifically not to use it to back up any folders or images on your devices. So if you if you are using like Google Drive, the thing that you could do is to encrypt all your data before you put it on Google Drive. For photos, there isn't an easy way to encrypt your photos and videos before putting it up on there. So you probably have to stop using photos if you're not comfortable with someone else possibly getting those photos. And instead, encrypt it and put it up on Google Drive. Encrypting your data is not very complicated and there will be soon a tutorial on the YouTube channel that will go over how to encrypt your data before putting it up on Google Drive if you're interested. Well, This concludes this week's top stories and hopefully we'll see you next week. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.